hello friend my name is jazz and welcome back to my channel pro learner today we are going to download and install qt designer in our windows 11 machine first of all open your favorite browser and search qt De designer download and hit enter you can see the first link which is www.qt.io it is the official website just open this link and after that you can see we have download option but uh, we have to go for free you can download from here price and you can buy if you want to try for free sometime you you can use download try and you can here you have development framework and tool you can download from here also but if you want free version just come here you can see find out you can use qt under the l gpl and contribute to the qt project just click here and after that it will load to another page and here just scroll down you can see this contribu contribution via open source open source user user obligation just scroll down and after that you can see this types of and at the end you can see download the qt installer just click here and it will move to another page where it will show you the operating system mac os windows linux i am currently using windows that's why i just click on download for windows you can see it is successfully downloaded and after that just double click on it and i minimize this now here we have to sign up or sign in if you already use the qt then you can provide your email and then password if you are the first time user then you can click on sign up and here you provide the email id and password and after that accept this term and condition and then open your email and verify it okay after sign up and verifying your account you see this kind of windows here and here you have to provide your first name last name your role and after that you you are individual because we are downloading for ourselves that's why we take this and after that select country city and then phone number and after that confirm that okay then after your id is successfully created then you can log in it okay now after successful login you can see this window appear and you can click on next now after this you have to take this and take this and click on next click on next it takes some time now after that choose the second option disable sending pseudonymous users statics and qt creator click on next you can change the destination folder of this qt installation by clicking on browse and choose whether you want to store it okay now after this i just leave it as it is and here you have to provide now here you have to choose which option you want you want qt design studio latest version of qt or you want to download qt 6.5 for development mingji which is c or c plus plus library so i just take this and you can choose multiple but i just choose this and click on next and here just read this uh, term and condition and after that agree and click on next and just leave it leave it as it is and click on next click on install click on yes it will take some time and after that it will successfully install in our windows machine okay after successful installation just click on next click on finish
finish it will launch the security creator okay now just uh, click on just once the readme file you can read and after that you can just cut this out and this is the qt creators after successful installation of qt designer here you can see the open window here we have to click on open project create project because we are downloading for first time that's why we create project and here you can choose whatever you want to like application for python library other project non qt project import project but i just choose the first one in first one we choose Q qt widget application and after that click on choose and here you give name i provide qt hello qt qt and after that click on next or if you want to make this location as a default location you can tick this option otherwise untick and if you want to change just click on browse and you can change okay now after this you can click on next just you can change q maker c maker or qb maker i change to q maker and after that click on next and here leave all all of this as it is and click on next and here you can choose the language i just leave it and click on next and here you can see it is ticked because we downloaded ming gw 64 bit that's why it is ticked and if you tick more than this then you can sh see the option okay now after that click on next and click on finish or here you can see we have non add as sub project because we are creating from scratch that's why we don't have any sub project and you can add version if you make more than versions like you, you upload your project in git and you want to change some a little bit then you can use this option and import from git okay now because i just make it as a first time that's why i just leave all as it is and click on finish now here you can see hello qt hello qt dot pro header folder in header folder we have main windows dot h and we have sources which contain main dot cpp main window dot cpp here we have form and in forms we have main window dot ui okay now just click here you can see we have drag and drop option we can choose anything we want like uh, if you want if you want button or checklist just drag and drop and after that you can resize also and here you can place and you can choose as many as you want like this and it will add in your project and after this you can add it also from here and you can change or change the code okay now after this you can see the build button just click here to build your project click on save all and here you can see we are building now here you can see it is successfully built because the color is green i can show you once again when it is successfully built it color turned to green and after that you can debug with the help of this and you can mark some point or break point okay now after this i just click on run now here you can see these two things we added which is shown here okay so this is how you can download and install qt and make first project in qt designer so that's it for today's video hope you like this video if you did please subscribe my channel share with your friends and bye bye